You like my shirt? I bought that Forever 21 on clearance. So what's up everyone, it's Pete Hizzle, Peter, and I feel super lost now because Devious Maze is over. Yeah. So I guess to begin, I'm gonna talk about Project Runway. I felt so bad for Ashley since I've been rooting for her since day one. And since they were playing paintball and she's fat, plus size, that they thought she would be a disadvantage, but she really like showed them, so I really like her for that. But if Merlene and Ashley swapped, then we would have saw the same mess that we saw on this week's episode. I was like, ugh, with Blake when I saw that he didn't want to play paintball. But then we saw him later try to defend Ashley for what happened, and then I was like, wow, what a whirlwind. I'm actually starting to like him. And I actually liked his dress this week, so. And then moving on to America's Next Top Model, did anyone else's heart sink when they saw Mom May and Justin kiss and cuddle in bed? And why must America's Next Top Model be on at the same time as MasterChef? And I'm so sad Dustin went home because he's like the least dramatic one and Niall's friend. <sighs> I really hope Niall steps up his game because I don't want Devin or Rockstar Jesus or Bella to win. I don't think Bella will win, but maybe like Rockstar Jesus and Devin, su like surprisingly. I'm rooting for Lacey though. She's like classic model face and she like really knows how to work. And then moving on to I Am Kate, this week's episode of Ellen is actually the one that like goes back to like the second episode or something. But anyways, I thought this week's episode was really sad and really like deep and really shows the struggles of an average trans person, even though I have like zero to maybe like 10% understanding of one. Yeah. But we really see the focus on Candace this episode and not Kate. But if you want to see Caitlyn follow up on her words about helping Blossom, you can watch the Ellen episode or clips now. I know there's too much reality TV going on. I can't wait for Empire and How to Get Away, get away with Murder. How do I count? Why is that tongue twister? This week's comic roundup is also kind of boring because all I've read was Uncanny X-Men. I've actually caught up to the latest issue. Now I'm waiting for issue number 600 to come out, which is October something, I forgot. I looked it up and then I forgot to write it down. I'm so sorry. But in short, the book's gonna be oversized and it's gonna be like a big conclusion and cliffhangers to whatever like branches out from this. Yeah. I do know Midnighter number four is out, but I have yet to read it. So I'm trying really hard not to spoil it for myself. But I'm really loving the artist for this issue. Lucas looks so hot. And look at Grayson. And that's all I really have to share for this week. Hopefully next week will be a more exciting comic week. Because I really do like editing these and then showing the pictures and my opinion on what are my favorites. Hopefully someone else finds this exciting too because, or fun to watch because otherwise I'm doing this for no reason. But it doesn't really matter because I like doing this anyways. <laughs> I have nothing better to do. But don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch more. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it. And don't forget to follow me on my other social media sites. See you next week.